Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered. One of my all-time favourite racer games back on the PS3, now remastered for the PS4 Pro, 60 frames per second, high performance racing game, it looks absolutely incredible, let's dive into what I love about this Need for Speed racing game. So this game does include some epic races, but to be honest for me, Hot Pursuit it is all about the chases. So whether you're playing as a racer trying to evade or you're playing as the police force of Seacrest County chasing down, smashing and ramming those racers out of action. So the game starts off um, with limited power-ups, it's more about learning skill, is driving the car, building up that boost bar and managing to just smash and take the racers out of action. So there is quite a good selection of vehicles in this game, but to be honest, for me, what, what this game really is all about in essence is just how well it plays. I mean, now on the PS4 Pro, in 60 frames per second, it just feels so incredible. It really takes the real arcade racer feel and just performs the best racing game that Need for Speed and I think any arcade racing game has actually ever made. So the police cars look fantastic, I love the flashing lights, I just love the skill of trying to swipe those cars to block them off and take them out of action, but as you progress through the career, you actually build up your points and your rank and you unlock different power-ups, so whether it's an EMP lock-on blast to shut cars down, pulling in roadblocks, helicopters, or also dropping those spike strips to take the cars out of action and up the road. As you progress through the game, the cars get better, the cars get faster, the races get more intense. You're gonna to need to employ more skills rather than just the limited number of power-ups. You're gonna to need to apply braking and dodging or dropping power-ups and spike strips to knock cars out of the way at the right time and avoid taking that damage. If you take too much damage in this game, your car will suffer performance and you eventually might encounter a wreck and then you will be out of action by the lost the race or you've lost chasing down those races. So it's one thing being an officer but then what about the races because as much as I enjoy ramming and chasing down those cars, I do also enjoy the challenge of escaping to trying to preserve myself avoid the incoming racer hits, avoid the police and just try to get to the front of that chase and to escape and hit that finish line first. So I just think it's where the game shines, I, I love the whole hunt, it is hot pursuit, it is about the pursuit of chasing or the pursuit of evasion. So it works on both fronts and I think I've definitely swayed over my time with the game in either preferring to be an officer or preferring to be a racer but there's a really good number of different events and challenges throughout the game that let you explore all those different events across a really good number of tracks. So the game will quickly ramp up and as the vehicles get faster the action gets a lot more intense. So as well as using those power-ups as attacks, you also are going to need to use them defensively. It's one of my favourite things about the game. You've got to really look out for what's incoming. Is someone going to drop that spike? If a police car's going to drop that spike and you've got a jam ability, you can use that jammer and you can just take out that spike strip, shut it down, and you've managed to then maintain your speed and carry on to try it to win the event. So you can dodge EMPs as well in a number of ways, whether it's taking out the car, braking, or just accelerating far enough away to get out of range. I just love the game, it gets more intense as the events go on, and your level of skill really needs to increase, because you're not always going to have enough power-ups to save you, and it is where your skill really comes in, your ability to dodge out of the way and just not take damage. Here we have a selection of some of the top-end hypercars, and it's where the game really, really gets skilled. I'm not really too into the cars. They're, they're all fairly similar. There's several different brands. There's, there's quite a lot of overlap with the cars. It's not Gran Turismo. It's more about the action. High speed, intense dodging, 
these crashes to try to not get wrecked. You don't keep your eye on that track ahead. You will crash, you will crash, and you will crash over and over again. On the PS3, this was very, very hard because the lacking, slight lacking in graphics and visibility made it really, really challenging. But here on the PS4, it just excels. You can up your game and you are able to avoid some of these high speed crashes. Now here it demonstrates you still need a lot of skill to do so. Especially when you deploy the turbo, you really pick up some speed. You want to save turbo for a straight, otherwise those vehicles can just come up on you, suddenly there'll be a roadblock and you just wiped yourself out. Well I hope you guys have enjoyed this intense racing action, because this just really shows how much I love this game. And if you haven't played this game guys, you really really want to get involved. Now, I think this is one of the best racing games ever, ever made. It is one of my favourites, and it just shows it all off in all its full glory here on the PlayStation 4. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, guys. You want to check this out. Yes, mate.